A new report has revealed just how much Kiwis will need to have saved when it comes to retirement. The rising cost of living is putting the pressure on to save more and start earlier in order to retire comfortably. Lucy Thompson reports. It's the age-old question. How much is enough when it comes to saving for retirement? Probably half a million. 250 grand. Probably over a million dollars, I'd say. To be, it depends on your lifestyle. Hell of a lot more than I've got. As I think it's right now, I'll still be working. A new report by Massey University has crunched the numbers. This is how much you'll need saved up, above and beyond your pension. A rural couple will need 480000 in savings to fund a comfortable lifestyle. In the city, that amount jumps to more than 750000 And if you're living alone, you'll need more than 560000 tucked away. The vast majority are a long way away from that sort of uh, reserve. Those figures don't even include mortgage or rental costs. And with home ownership rates steadily declining, the Retirement Commissioner says it's a cause for concern. NZ Super is predicated on the fact that you, should, that you will have either uh, a paid off home um, at retirement or you'll be in a nice, um, modestly priced you know, public housing. And both of those um, areas are under considerable pressure at the moment. So it is definitely a long-term issue facing this country. Report author Claire Matthews says the rise in living costs make it harder. Transport, um, and that's really been driven, I think, by petrol prices. Food to an extent and housing and household utilities. According to a CanStar survey, 43% of people fear they won't have enough money in retirement. Those most concerned are people aged in their 40s. And with good reason. 40% of KiwiSaver members have a balance of less than $10,000. So, what's the advice? It's a big number, um, but the big number should not be as scary as it looks. It just tells you that the earlier you start, the easier it is. To give you more certainty when it's time to wind down and enjoy the golden years. Lucy Thompson, Newshub.